A young girl, Mary Black, is playing around the house with her cat. She notices her cat is running off, and when she tries to follow, someone strangles her from behind, and she dies. Sometime later at the police station on Christmas Eve, the police officers working that night, including Guloy, who works at the front desk, and Hawkins and Pine, who had just returned from their watch to the station, all prepare to have a silent night at the police station because of the heavy rain and holiday. In the office, Janine and another officer sure would make out and try to kiss before Pine and Hawkins walk inside and stop. They warn Janine that her partner Sherwood is notorious for stabbing ladies' hearts, but she jokingly says she is also good at dodging arrows. On the other hand, Detective Alex Black sits in his office listening to his wife's voice message, telling him that things haven't been the same since the death of their daughter, Mary, and she needs some time to think. So she is taking the other kids to her parents' house, and she will return when she feels better. He looks at Mary's picture again, remembering the time she died and also looks at the pen in his hand with the inscription to the best dad in the world, which was given to him by Mary. At the front desk, a strange man enters the station. He tells Galoy that he wants to confess, and when Galoy asks him what his confession is, he says he wants to confess to murder. Galoy gets scared and he brings out his gun. Coincidentally, Black also enters the deputy's office and Pine also goes out to the front desk. Galoy brings out a gun to threaten the man to put his hand up, and when Pine reaches, he tries to tell Galoy to bring down the gun. But Galoy is so scared that he can't do such. The noise calls the attention of the other officers, and Black comes out with the officers. Black asks Galoy to bring down his gun, and he asks the man to put his hand on his head. But the man refuses. He walks closer to Black and Black figures. He is the stubborn one and asks the other officers to take the man to the interrogation room. He gets angry at Galoy asking what he intended to use the gun for, and two of her officers on road, control, duty, come to give their report on the accident that happened on the road at Lee. In the interrogation room, the man tries to gaslight Hawkins, telling him that he is so scared of everyone that he used to hide in the school playground because he was scared of what the other kids will say about him. Hawkins tries to fight back, but Black enters and tells him to step back. Black asks the man for his name, but he claims he is Mr. Nobody. He asks him who he killed, but the man refuses to talk. Mr. Nobody tells Black that he likes his pen and the inscription on it. And when Black sees Mr. Nobody isn't ready to talk, he tells the officers to take him for processing and gets his fingerprints so they can find out who he is. Before leaving the interrogation room, Mr. Nobody tells Black that by the end of the evening, they will find out he has murdered six people. Janine and Sherwood try to make out at the hideout, but Janine suddenly sees Mr. Nobody. She tells Sherwood who insists the man can't be there because he has been taken for processing. He tries to resume their makeout, but she buttons her dress and says she has to go. At the processing room, Hawkins tries to take Mr. Nobody's picture, but notices the image gets bloody after he takes them. Pine also comes to take his fingerprints, but finds out Mr. Nobody has no fingerprints. He says he needs to report to Black so Hawkins should take the man to detention, but Hawkins is also scared, so he tells Galoy to do so. Galoy complains he has enough on his sleeve, including their bulbs, which had gotten burnt that evening. Mr. Nobody asks him if he knows why their bulbs got burnt and tells him it may be a warning. After putting him at the prison, Galoy walks away but notices Mr. Nobody following him. He runs back to check the prison and he also finds him there, so he runs away. They take the prince to Black who wonders what could have happened and why they can't get fingerprints. He says he will interrogate Mr. Nobody again, but he wants to make a call first. He calls his wife apologizing to her and reminds her that the death of Mary was painful to him too, and she doesn't have to do that, and she should please let him speak to the kids. He says to them and promises them he will come to spend Christmas. Janine notices the light in their office is also already faulty. She asks Galoy if there are no extra bulbs in the storage, but Galoy says that all the bulbs have been smashed. Hawkins feels something is wrong. He goes to his office to recheck the picture of Mr. Nobody, but sees that all the pictures have no head. He goes to his prison to check on him, but finds the man whistling, and the man says the sound is called the sound of death. He gets very scared, and when Black is ready for interrogation, he asks them to bring Mr. Nobody to him. But Hawkins says he needs to take a walk. Sherwood and Pine go to take the man and find him in another prison. Pine also finds a card he was playing on his table in the prison. They take the man to the interrogation room while Pine finds Hawkins. Hawkins smokes and thinks of a drifter that thought he had kidnapped Mary, and they had beaten the driver and even cut off his tongue because he refused to confess. 
He assumes Mr. Nobody is a revenge spirit from the Drifter, and he gets very scared. Pine comes to meet him. He tells Pine he feels very creepy about Mr. Nobody, and says Mr. Nobody looks like the Drifter they killed. It is even more weird that it is the six of them who were in the station that day that are also around on this night. But Pine reassures him that can't be possible, and he should come inside the prison. As he enters, he takes a touch and says he needs to check something. He goes to the prison and suddenly one of the doors opens and something drags him inside. At first he assumes it is Galoy but keeps shouting to no avail. Black interrogates Mr. Nobody who says that he dragged the man inside waiting for fear to set in, then tied him and started hitting him. He says after he finished hitting him, he cut off his throat and left him to die. At about the same time, they hear Hawkins scream and they go to check only to see him dead in the prison with his throat cut off. Black asks Galoy and Pine to check around while he asks Sherwood and Janine to handcuff Mr. Nobody and lock him in the interrogation room. While trying to search the surrounding, a dead cat falls on Galoy's head and the cat has the tag of Mary on it, signifying it is her cat, Shining. They take it back to Black to report it, but Black says it's impossible. He asks if anyone understands what is going on, so Pine reveals what Hawkins had said earlier. Galoy recalls that he was convincing them on that night not to kill the man, but they remind him they all thought Mary could still be saved. He says that Mary was long dead by then, and her corpse was even found with the criminal killed by the state police. So the drifter they killed was innocent. He brings out a gun to shoot his colleagues, but Black stops him. Galois says the drifter is still in a coma, and he goes to check on the man occasionally at the hospital. He accuses Black that he was the one who made them lie, that the drifter attacked them first. Black tells Galoy and Pine to recheck the surroundings while he goes with Sherwood and Janine to check on Mr. Nobody. As he arrives there, Mr. Nobody says he wants to confess to his third murder. He says he snuck behind the man and strangled him. He says although the man claims to be innocent, because he was there and did nothing, he is also guilty. In like manners, they see Galois' body dangling by the window. Pine reports that he left and came back to meet Galois dead. Black walks away and asks Janine and Sherwood to take Mr. Nobody to prison. He waits for them there, asking Mr. Nobody if he knows Mary. He tells him about the drifter, but Mr. Nobody says he knows nothing about it. Pine suggests that they call the hospital. The drifter was admitted, and they find out the drifter died at exactly 8.14 p.m. that night, which was the same time Mr. Nobody entered the station. They try to call for help, but the phone stopped working, so Sherwood and Janine go to get help. Mr. Nobody confesses to his next crime, and he kills Sherwood in the forest by digging out his intestine. Janine runs back to the station, afraid. Black advises they run away, but the car doesn't work. Janine enters the car to start it, but it locks her up, and Mr. Nobody starts suffocating her until she dies. In anger, Pine runs to the prison to kill the man, but he kills him instead. Black tries to run away, but he finds himself back at the station where Mr. Nobody confesses that he was the one that killed Mary, and he wasn't innocent. Black asks why he is then killing them, and he says that it is because while he lay in a coma, all he thought about was vengeance, and he had come to execute the vengeance. He starts the confession to kill Black, but Black stabs his ear, so he won't hear the confession and runs to hide. He sees Mary, who tells him the stranger hates his name, and Black should call him, which she whispers to his ears. Black returns and calls his name, Stanley Happerton, and he shoots the stranger who falls down through the window and disappears. The following day, Black sees Mary on the stairs and she tells him she has to go. 